Blockchain is a record-keeping protocol that, like traditional digital records, can be used to represent data of nearly any type. There are already many blockchains in use today, recording information ranging from financial transaction data to legal documentation. A blockchain is like the next generation database with a few distinguishing characteristics that allow it to create agreement around and trust in a data source without a single central authority. While blockchains are not effective for housing massive amounts of data, say a large video file, they are effective at storing critical information in a highly trusted, secure way. A blockchain might be used to create a record of who created a video, but not the video itself. To understand how blockchain protocol can create trust without a central authority, let's take a simplified example. Imagine that 100 people are establishing a new town on undeveloped land. They've divided up the plots and need to document who owns what. One option is to create a central database and then make 100 copies, one for each townsperson. But since the copies would be easy to alter, the single original version would need to be kept safe from tampering, requiring some sort of central authority. But imagine if someone in the town claims that there is a way to establish a trusted source of truth without appointing any central authority. In fact, she says we can come up with a way, a protocol, that'll make all 100 copies equally reliable where any data disputes would be resolved among the group. What would it take for something like this to work? For one, each copy would need a built-in way to signal when the data changes. That way, instead of constantly cross-referencing all the data in all of the copies, the townspeople can simply look for the signals. No signal, no changes. Two, they need a way of making group decisions about proposed changes. If and when signals go off, how will they determine whether to reject or accept the change? For example, in the case of a legitimate sale of the plot to a new owner. Blockchain protocol establishes exactly this type of digital record. And these two attributes are what make it possible to create trust without a central authority. The word blockchain is used to describe both the protocol for record keeping, meaning the way of storing records, and the record itself. Each individual blockchain operates under a version of blockchain protocol. Let's look at how, in practice, these blockchains create trust without any central authority. Blockchains are ledgers that store data in blocks, stacked end-to-end. -end. Blocks are never edited or deleted. Updates to the data, for example when plot ownership changes, are not recorded by editing the previous blocks, but instead by adding new blocks carrying information about the changes. The blocks are linked together, hence the word chain. Each block is designed so that any changes in the data will break the entire chain, raising alarm bells. Here's how this works. Consider any two blocks on this particular chain, block N and block N plus 1. Each block is recording changes in plot ownership and consists of three distinct parts. One, the data about the change, in the case of block N, that plot A was sold to Morgan and plot B was sold to J. Two, the second piece of information is a conversion of that data into a unique identifier called the hash. This is like the block's fingerprint. A cryptographic method such as SHA-256 generates the unique hash based on the underlying data in the block. If the data changes, the hash changes. The last piece of information is the hash of the previous block in the chain. Each new block added follows this pattern and is linked to the previous block. This is the link that will be broken if the data is changed. For example, imagine attempting to change the buyer of plot A to Mike. The change in data would automatically change the hash and suddenly the link to the next block in the chain has been broken. A broken chain is a clear signal that the data has been altered. To tamper with one block, you'd need to first restore the links in the chain by tampering with all the subsequent blocks, and then convince the majority of the townspeople to accept your new proposed chain as the source of truth, a nearly impossible feat. Since it is nearly impossible to change blockchain data without common agreement across the network, blockchains are described as immutable. In other words, unchangeable, since in most cases the people with a copy of the data, called the nodes, are not related or otherwise organized, blockchains are described as distributed. The immutability and distributed nature of the blockchain mean that trustworthy data can be kept without any central authority. 
This type of decentralization has the potential to remove middlemen or central authorities that exist, like payments without using banks, or to create new ways of organizing previously disconnected groups, like linking farmers with other actors in the supply chain.